In this episode, we're going to look at how my e-brake system works and why it converted from drum to disc brakes. So let's get started with this lever. It was originally used on a Craftsman 2 tractor to raise and lower the deck. The lever pivots on this half inch bolt and above you can see the angle iron that is used to take up the slack in the cable when the e-brake is applied. Currently, I'm only using the first two positions, but as the brake wears, I'll use more. From the pivot point, the cable is routed under the left foot rest, underneath the frame of the tractor, to the right side rear, where the drum used to sit. And speaking of the drum, you'll need to remove that from the shaft, so I simply cut it off with a parting tool on the lathe. And once removed, you can then turn down the shaft to the correct diameter to match your disc. Once everything fits well, you can cut the keyway. The keyway locks the disc to the shaft, but keeps everything free floating. I'm using a stock Yamaha YT125 caliper and pad set and the disc is from Princess Auto. Overall, you'll see an improvement in braking performance and durability. And really, this doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Next episode, we're gonna take a look at how the electronic power steering system works on this tractor. And I haven't forgot about the drive and lift systems, so those will be coming too. So be sure to subscribe.